First and foremost, uh, yesterday, the Model 3 tracker, this is from Bloomberg. They've been doing this for a little while, um, Tom Randall and uh, Dean, Dean Halford, um, have these methods of tracking this information. They, they want to actually see, uh, look at the VINs and look at all these different things and kind of how they're progressing to see what the ramp is looking like for the Model 3. And uh, I like looking at data and numbers like this too, as you probably know. And so I've taken these numbers and plugged them into my forecast model to try to figure out exactly um, if they will hit that 2,500 per week goal by the end of Q1, which by the way is in um, like five days. So uh, needless to say, uh, one of the biggest things was that they just jumped. You can see that Tom Randall had an update here. He said, this is uh, the last week of production before Tesla reports its quarterly progress. Our weekly estimates don't respond quickly enough to capture last minute bursts in production. So literally this number last night, yesterday was 800. So they went from 800 to 975 in a day. And that's because of how their model works. Um, I think it's a good model. They have a couple different variations here, but I do not believe that they are going to hit the goal of 2,500 per week by the end of Q1, literally in five days. But I don't think that matters either. So what I did is I actually took these numbers and I plugged them into my model here. Let's take a look at that for a second. Third, first, this is the, the function, the log function, if you're unfamiliar, maybe in stats class in college or something, you guys remember how it all worked. But uh, the way that this actually comes together is uh, you have basically the midpoint and the maximum, and you're trying to guess those two different points. Now, there's another uh, way of doing it, but in any event, you have this kind of sigmoid or S curve, and this is what Elon always talks about with uh, with the, the delivery ramp of the Model 3 and how it all works. So uh, what I did is I basically modeled that into Excel, um, and I couldn't find the link of the guy who originally built this, but um, if, if and when I do, I'll post it. But he basically did a version of that in Excel, which instead of having a single midpoint, we have two points, kind of the starting and end points, um, or I'm sorry, the beginning and then the midpoint, and then the maximum. So you can see what I've done here is I've plugged in the date um, today, the number 975, which is what they're currently at based on that Bloomberg tracker. Now the 2500, I'm putting out uh, to 630 instead of uh, this, uh, you know, at the end of Q1. Um, and then I'm giving them a maximum of 10,000. So a lot of these things are speculative and that's why I like to look at these a few different ways and actually come up with different models. So from there, what I did, oops, is I plugged it in to two different angles here. One is a 5K maximum weekly production and a 10K maximum weekly production because we still don't actually know. Now, Elon has said that, you know, they can reach 10,000 per week on the Model 3 line at Fremont, but until that's proven, I think it's it makes sense to have a, a really uh, healthy dose of skepticism because all the other numbers and everything that they've came up with have not actually panned out. So I modeled both of them. Uh, the dark kind of red or pink is um, is the 5,000 one. You can see that line kind of referencing there. And then the other one is the 10,000 one. So all of these are, are, are using that midpoint of uh, June 30th at 2,500 and kind of where would they go from there? So this is what that ramp looks like. And if you extrapolate that out, you can see what the totals would be by year. Um, so for 2018, we're looking at 85,000 if you're on the 5K maximum. If you're on the other model, the 10K model, then we're looking at 170,000. So that's a big number for Tesla. Um, and then going into the future, you're looking at you know, 250,000, 260,000, uh, and then on the 10K model, all the, all the way up you know, north of 500,000. So there's still a lot of cars to be made very likely by Tesla this year for the Model 3 alone. I mean, we're talking you know, double all the, uh, you know, this is equivalent to all of the production of S and X from last year, uh, in fact, more so. So they're gonna double production this year overall is what it looks like on their current trajectory. So I think this is good news. I think that, um, you know, even though they're maybe they're obviously delayed, uh, lots of people are getting their cars. The more you look online, uh, the more you see, you know, uh, truckloads of them going by and people posting videos from the Fremont factory. There's all kinds of things um, that all kinds of good signs that this is really the ramp is is going well, or at least it's improving. Um, and so I'm going to continue to monitor this, uh, as you guys know. Um, one other tidbit about this, that there was um, the 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 uh, current 
consensus of the total vehicles in 2018 from a different uh, Bloomberg uh, source. This is the the Gadfly. This is a, a a chart kind of thing where you just get charts every day. I, I love this this email list. I watch it all the time. Um, and so they're currently at 143,000 for their guests for 2018. Uh, that fits right kind of neatly between my my low and high estimates. So we'll see. Uh, I'm curious what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below. Um, and if you have any other insights in here that you want to share. Um, please hit me up on Twitter um, or just in the comments down below and, uh, and we'll take it from there.